Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit of a dilemma. I'm coming at you guys with a concern and looking for your feedback on what I should do. It is a complete and total first world problem, so don't laugh at me for coming at you with what will probably look like an insignificant issue. If you find it to be as such, feel free to laugh at my expense. It's totally fine. Um, but basically, I made a purchase not too long ago. If you are a Teeks Flats aficionado like myself, you know that they recently came out with a color, a new color that you might be able to guess by the flower that you see right here. The color is called Rosé. I was intrigued by this beautiful color that they recently released, so I purchased it and brought it home and fell in love. I actually think it is a stunning neutral for me. I mean, obviously it's a bit metallic-y in its color, as you can see right here, but when I do wear it on my feet, I think it serves as a lovely neutral for me. I do currently have, I think it's, what was the color? Oh boy, um, blush, blush patent leather from Teeks that I had been using as my nude, but generally speaking the patents aren't particularly comfortable certainly not when it is compared to their classic leathers like this one i do think they consider this a classic leather but anyway so when i saw this color come out and saw its potential as being a nice neutral for me to perhaps replace the blush that i do have i jumped on it i brought it home i absolutely love it and i got super lucky in that i got these nice wrinkly pairs and i know there are ladies out there when it comes to teeks they have their preference they like wrinkles they don't i personally do i think when they're more wrinkly they are far more comfortable and this confirms it it was beautiful and comfortable it was like a slipper on my foot no break-in period nothing needed perfection what's the problem you're wondering <sighs> so okay so this is the problem it might not be a problem. That's why I'm coming to you so that maybe you can educate me. Um, but this is what I noticed happened just from trying this flat on in the house. I haven't obviously worn it out yet, but just from trying it on, this has happened. Look at the heel. You see the heel here, how it's uh, got this bend going on right there. It's not doing it on this side here, only on this shoe. This is the left shoe. Is this a problem? I just don't want it to then turn into a larger problem, more of an eyesore. So if you think with time, this one's gonna look really good and this one's gonna look a hot mess, let me know in the comments down below. I have to admit that when I ordered this pair, I did order two, there was a two pair limit because I want to factor in for an issue like this. And obviously if the color is popular, it could sell out and I won't have that opportunity to exchange it. So when a new color does come out and I do like it and want to hopefully guarantee that I get a good pair, I will order more than one. So I, I did order two, but there was a huge difference in comfort. The other one, I think something with the stitching on that shoe in this area was really just rubbing my foot the wrong way. So it was not at all comfortable. And I even put in an exchange for both pairs. So I, I've already had, you guys, four different pairs of this color come to my house. None of them have been as comfortable or have looked as nice on my foot as this particular pair, but it's got this issue back here. And it's so bizarre because none of my other teeks do this. And even in this one pair, one does it and one doesn't. So I don't know. I did see, um, on a Facebook group for Teeks that a number of women had a heel issue. So I'm wondering if it could possibly just be the color and the nature of the beast with this particular leather and the way it is treated to generate this rose color. I don't know if that's the case then, you know, it is what it is and I'll just keep them. I mean, I guess I could try to do another exchange and get a couple more pairs, but ugh, I mean, how many more back and forths of the same freaking color do I need to do to get a pair that actually is comfortable and doesn't have any random issue like this? So that's why I'm coming to you guys. Like I said, total first world problem, not a problem at all probably for some of you, but if you are a big Teeks fan and are familiar with wear and tear and 
happenings such as this. What do you think? Should I just disregard it and just keep them and wear them and come what may? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this heel, if it's going to be a problem uh, long term or if it'll probably just stay right around where it is now. Yeah, total non-dilemma dilemma for me. So hopefully you guys, my lovely subscribers and or anyone that happens to stumble across this video in passing is able to give me some insight on what to do here. And if you are new to my channel and do stumble upon it just by chance, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, whether or not you are intrigued by my concern or just are enjoying a great chuckle at my expense, because this is in fact a problem for me, hit like, like the video, please subscribe, ding that bell that's right there too, so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I'd love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.